Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Here in this session, we are going to discuss about binary search tree implementation. So basically, first let me try to tell you that if we want to perform certain operations like insertion, or if we want to do deletion, or if we want to do any searching operation, for these three operations, we are going to perform the implementation using C language. So let me try to give you the basic scenario. So this is our root element, right? So if I want to insert certain elements, let's say I want to add 11, or let's say I want to add five, let's say I want to 11, 21, let's say I want to add 31, let's say I want to add two. Then if I am to start from here, 11 should be here. Thereafter, the next element is five. Basically it is lesser than root. This five element, it is lesser than root. So if it is lesser than root, I need to go to left. So here on the left position, five would be added. So this is done. Now I want to insert 21. Obviously 21 is greater than root. So if 21 is greater than root, I need to add it on right side. Thereafter we are having 31. So root element is 11. 31 is greater than 11 as well as 31 is greater than 21. So again, it would be on the right side of this root node that is here. Thereafter two, which is lesser than 11, two is lesser than 11. So go to left here, five again, two is again lesser than five. So go to left again and here I will add the two. So basically this is insertion, right? I am also going to show you the implementation shortly. Now let's say if I want to talk about deletion. In deletion, if I want to delete, if I want to delete any, any child node, then I can directly delete it. I can directly free it without manipulating any other thing. But if I want to delete something which is having child, let's say I want to delete this five, but this five is having child. So first of all, I need to replace it. I need to replace it. So here it would be two. Here it would be five and thereafter I need to free it, right? So if uh, in deletion, we need to check three cases. If node is child node, if node is child node directly, you can delete it. Second thing is that if node is having one child, so if node is having one child, we need to replace it first. We need to replace it first with its parent node, with its parent node, right? And thereafter we can free it. And the third case is that if it is a root node or it is having two child nodes, if it is having two child nodes like that, if I want to drill this 11, then let's say the tree is like that. Let's say the tree is here, 11, let's say it is five, let's say it is two, let's say it is 21, let's say it is 31. And in this case, if I want to delete this 11, I want to delete this 11. In that case, in that case, I can delete it, but I need to replace this node. I need to replace this node with either in order successor. In order successor means this one. In order successor, it means the on the right place, the leftmost element. And either with in order successor or in order predecessor, predecessor. That is on the left hand side, on the left hand side, on the left hand side, the rightmost element. So on the left hand side, the rightmost element, if I am going to talk, it would be right five. And on the right hand side, if I am going to talk about the leftmost element, it would be like 31. You can understand it like that. Let's say if here we are having seven and let's say if here we are having 23. In that case, I can replace this 11 with either seven or I can replace this 11 with either 23 and I can free this root node, right? So these are the things that we need to keep in our mind while doing deletion. I hope insertion is already clear. If lesser, then go to left. If it is greater, then go to right. Now in searching the same case, if the searching element is lesser than root node, go to left. If it is greater, go to right. So if you are going to see the program here, the complete program is here. Uh, you can see that uh, int main is here and struct node root. Right? So node would be structured. So here
here is the definition of a struct node. In the data, struct node is the right center is the left side. So we have created two members here, left side and right side. And we are having one that is data we are going to enter into the root node, right? Thereafter, if you are going to see, we are having new node as a root that is 20. So we are going to create 20 as a new node. And then we want to insert root node 5. So we need to go to the insertion function, right? As you can see, all these functions insert, insert, insert. All these functions are going to be on insertion function, right? So we need to call the, in, the, the insertion function is called, right? So we need to find the definition of insertion. And you can see that uh, here is a definition of insertion code. So this function is going to call if root, it means that nothing is there directly, it would be created as a new node. But if we are having already root node, and if x is greater than root node, then we need to move to root the right till we are having the correct position. And if we are having uh, x which is lesser than root node, then we need to uh, traverse left and we need to edit the uh, its correct location. Right, So it is going to traverse like that until it finds its correct position. So it is going to iterate in insertion part. This code is going to call again and again and again. Right now. If we want to do some in order traversal in a binary search tree, then we can do it like that. This is an in order traversal code where you know that if root is not equal to null, then I need to traverse left first and then I can print root data and then in order. You know that in, in order we go left and then root node is printed and thereafter right. This is the order. Root node will be printed first, right? So this is the code. Now, if I want to delete anything, let's say if I want to delete root 1 or root 40 or root 45 or root 9, these all are under deletion function. These all are under deletion function. So we need to figure out the definition of deletion function. And you can simply see that deletion function is here. These all are about deletion. So we need to take it out here. That if root is null, directly we can return null. If x is greater than root the data, then we need to go to uh, root the right and we need to compare it if it is the whether it is a having single child or double child or it is a child node itself. In that case, we need to operate on certain conditions like if this is true, then we need to execute it. If x is lesser than root the data, then we need to traverse to left. Else, if root the left the child equals to, equals to null and root the right child is also null. Then free, we can free the root null. Else if it's root ka left child is null, but it is or this time or or root ka right child is null. At that time, we need to execute this part, right? That we have discussed in that figure. So this is the thing. And again, in order root, if you want to make in order traversal, we can make it right simply. And uh, you know that uh, if we are having two child, then uh, we can find the minimum child and uh, we can. Uh, all the find minimum. So for finding minimum, we are having code here for finding the minimum child. If it's not find minimum, if root equals to equals to null, return null. If root ka child is not equals to null, then find minimum root ka left. It would be on the left side. So basically, let's figure out the complete code. Uh, this is the first part, right? So here you can know, you can simply see that the node structure is created. We are using dynamic memory allocation DMA, and with the help of that, we have created. Uh, a node structure with two member variables, left child and right child, using concept of the structure, right? So we have created the definition. Thereafter, we can see that if I want to search for searching operation, you know the same concept. If it is lesser, if the root is greater, if it is greater, we need to go to right. If else, it would be lesser. So we need to go to left, right? Thereafter, this is the insertion part. Thereafter, it is the minimum. There it is the deletion code, right? You can see completely here. And this is the in order trace. So using this code, using this code, you can simply, simply uh, do all the operations of binary search tree, right? So if you are having any queries, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Till then, have a very nice day, guys. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.